Okay, job 24426. It's called the 575 Zone Reservoir and Booster Pump Station. This is a prevailing wage project, City of Burien. Um, looking at asphalt, um, new asphalt. We're looking at asphalt restoration, trench patch work, and a little bit of striping. So this is the um, area where the work is at. This is the property here. And what they're doing is they're putting in a new reservoir and pump station. So this is the property and you've got on this side, we're gonna have some uh, grind and overlay work, some asphalt restoration, and some trench patch work to do on this street, which is 9th Avenue Southwest. And then you've got 8th Avenue Southwest. Sorry, I had that backwards. This is 8th Avenue Southwest. And this right here is 9th Avenue Southwest. There's also a little bit of asphalt restoration up on this street, which is Southwest 146th Street. So you can see this is what they're doing on that property. Here's your surrounding streets. Um, big reservoir going in, in the dark spaces here in that circle. There's asphalt plus asphalt out here. Then you've got asphalt restoration on new curb and gutter. Spot right there, spot right there, and then new curb and gutter around this corner. And then you've got a little wider area of asphalt here because they are widening the road. The road used to be out here, and now it's getting moved over to the left a little bit. Okay, so um, that is a scope of work of what it looks like right now, uh, just on this page for um, project management. Uh, we don't have to do any street use permits. We don't need to do... Um, well, mainly that's the main thing is any street use permits because uh, contractors handling that. Um, I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to do a little bit of staging um, on site here. If not, I know that just southeast of the property, there is a large, um, a large parking area. So here's uh here's the property if you go down 146th street a few blocks and head south you'll see that there's a, a large retail parking lot there okay so on page c8 uh, this is where i got my measurement for all the asphalt around the reservoir and um, out here in the front total square footage is 5714 square feet they need a four inch depth this will be pave ready. We're bidding it as pave ready. Uh, in this area right here, it's about 15 feet wide. And then it gets a little more narrow. It gets down to about 10 feet wide. And then all this around the reservoir is only about 5 feet wide. So getting a truck uh, in there, um, because it's new construction, we might have a chance of getting a truck through here on you know uh around this circle because uh, right now it's it's just open uh, so hopefully um this will work out to where we can drive our truck around the reservoir here and then um pour but we're only doing a five foot wide path around the reservoir the detail for the asphalt is on page c10 okay and you can see um, uh, typical section for the access drive. It's all the same, four inches. Okay, so all the same. I'm also going to bid the removable bollards. There's a total of seven each. Seven each removable bollards. Those are located right here. And... There's another note that says four per standard detail number two. Two there and two there. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Out of the seven bollards, three of these, they said, are supposed to be, um, that's a company named Traffic Guard, um, or approved equal. These are 
removable bollards, but um, they're a little different than the four removable bollards up here. So these three removable bollards are, um, I pulled up Bollard Pros, and there's a 3.5 inch by 36 inch embedded removable bollard. Those come out around $479.95, okay? Um, so we wanna plug in a price for that, one of those bollards, uh, for three of those bollards, okay? At $479.95. These other four bollards, it says they are per detail too. Here's the detail that I got um, off the City of Burien website. Um, these bollards, let's see here. They're on page 141 of the City of Burien details, figure 5.18. Uh, this is the detail of the removable baller. They're saying it can be a timber removable baller. So again, I went to Bollard Pros and looked up embedded removable square wooden bollards and they are $779.95. Um, this fits the, the spec by City of Burien. Okay, so there's four of those. Okay, now we're gonna look at this trench patch restoration. It calls for six and a half inches of rock and four inches of HMA. So uh, there's some trench digging that's gonna be done by the contractor. And then we need to come back and remove that uh, cold mix um, and then bring back um, four inches of HMA, six and a half inches of rock. So what we have to do is we have to remove, um, <clears throat> we'll probably have to remove like two inches of asphalt and then we'll have to remove eight inches of dirt, uh, eight and a half inches of dirt. And then we'll put back six and a half inches of rock and four inches of asphalt. On Ninth Avenue Southwest, there's 130 feet by four feet trench and then 245 by four on 8th avenue southwest 32 feet by four feet and then 30 feet by four uh, i'm going to show you what this looks like um, on these drawings so <clears throat> on page c34 as we're looking at 8th avenue uh, you'll see that there is two trenches that go through across the street on 8th avenue and it says to do trench pavement restoration per city standard details 24 and 25. And that's what I found on City of Burien. And then as you go farther south down the street, there's another one that goes across right here. Um, <clears throat> that's also located on page C17, I believe. Okay, so that's that. And then... Um, let me show you the next part. Okay, so on page C, C36, it shows the uh, 9th Avenue Southwest frontage improvements. And you can see there's this trench that's going to go down 9th Avenue South. It only shows to that point right there. It only shows to here, but it actually goes south a lot farther. And on page C16, it shows that. So here's the continuation. This is on the other page. It showed it stopping right about here and then it continues down 9th Avenue and then goes up here and ties in. So you can see, um, there it is, the note, trench pavement restoration. Okay, so it's gonna go all the way down that street. So I've got the total footage right here on there. So now um, let's also talk about the asphalt restoration along the side streets so you've got on 8th avenue southwest on page c34 you've got 1445 square feet and 204 square feet of asphalt restoration four inch hma they provide the rock after putting in the curb and gutter and widening the road <clears throat> southwest 146th street there's 22 square feet 48 square feet and 88 square feet in three locations. Page And that's on page C35. On C36, 9th Avenue Southwest, you've got 1,045 square feet. So let me show you what um, this looks like here on those pages. Okay, so on page C3, C34, I'm showing you that measurement that I just gave you. And that is 
to do asphalt restoration along the curb and gutter all the way through here. And then this is where they're widening the road all the way down. Okay, so that's where those two measurements come from. This restoration that I showed you, 1,045 square feet on 9th Avenue Southwest, that's on page C36. C36. And here you've got 9th. Okay, and you've got, um, again, asphalt restoration on the curb and gutter, and then you've got some road widening here all the way down to this point here. On page C35, this is the measurement I gave for Southwest 146th Street. There's three locations. You've got, starting from the east side, you've got one little asphalt restoration there, add some curb and gutter, and then the road continues west, and you've got a repair right there as well. Um, I missed one. I don't know why I missed one, but let's see here. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it's at there, but um, but these these measurements are good on that. Oh, I know what it was. It was this little bit of area right here on the corner. Just a little bit of it. Okay, and then the uh, last part on the asphalt is the grind and overlay. So on 8th Avenue Southwest and 9th Avenue Southwest, we need to do a 2-inch grind and overlay. So on 8th Avenue Southwest, it's 6,571 square feet. On 9th Avenue Southwest, it's 6,953 square feet plus 6,125 square feet. Let me show you 8th Avenue first. Okay, so going back to page C34, you can see all this uh, crosshatch there. That is all the 2-inch um, grind and overlay. Um, it goes from the edge of the property there all the way up to... Southwest 146th Street, and you can see on the legends it says asphalt, and then also two inch grind and asphalt overlay. This whole section, so the whole thing will be a two inch grind and overlay. Now, on 9th Avenue Southwest, that is on page C36. If I could get that to focus a little better, same legends, you know, it says to uh, do a two inch grind and overlay on the whole street at ninth there and then there's a note here that says continue grind and overlay south south of this mark right here um and it says um oh it just says south of there 10 feet south of where the uh where that trench is and i showed you that trench here just a little bit ago so on page c16 going back to that where i showed the um the extended trench work going down the road all the way to the end on 9th avenue southwest this is all going to be grinding overlay so that's why i had to add on that second portion there okay um so that's it for um all the asphalt work and that is it for the removable bollards now we've got striping that we need to put back on 8th Avenue Southwest and 9th Avenue Southwest. Currently, right now, um, you only have fog line on 9th Avenue, but on 8th, you've got double yellow center line and you've got fog line. So here's the total footage. 820 feet of four inch fog line. We need to add glass B. 210 feet of double yellow. We had to add glass B and then there's 16 inch plastic stop bars at the end of 8th and 9th. It's a total of 34 feet. So real quick, I'm gonna take you back to where the, um, the scope of work is here. Actually, it's right here. And I'm gonna drop you down street view so you can see what is on. <clears throat> What's on each street. So right now I dropped you down onto 8th Avenue Southwest from this intersection. And that's what it looks like right now. It's uh, double yellow, but doesn't have any, um, actually doesn't have any fog line. Hold on. Okay, now I know why I was showing you the wrong street. So here's the property looking on, this is Southwest 146, looking at the property. This is 8th Avenue Southwest right here. 
and as you can see, there's double yellow and there is fog line on both sides. I don't see any buttons, no buttons. Okay, so here's the property. Here's 146 looking from the north and there's 9th. Dropping down onto 9th. So you can see what it looks like on 9th Street. So there's the property to the left. And then all you have is fog line going down the road. Okay. As far as labor goes on this, mobilizations, I would say a lot of this is going to be broken up into sections. This asphalt would probably be one day to do all the stuff on site. The um, trench work, um, when we go to replace that, I would imagine it's going to be separate mobilization. So the work that needs to be done on 8th, the trench uh, restoration that I gave, the trench patch stuff on 8th and 9th, I would imagine we could probably get um, that work done all in one day on both sides. Uh, then there'll be a second day to do all the work probably on the side of the road where the curb and gutter is. Um, it's just kind of what I'm guessing there. Because of uh, traffic control and all that, we'd probably do that a second day all the way around. So you've got one day on site here day two to do the trench patch work going across the road here down here on eighth and then that long trench work down ninth okay so that's three total days there then you've got the grind and overlay um so this would probably be one day grind and overlay this would probably be another day grind and overlay and i think that would do it for all the asphalt work so that was one day two three four five six what six days backing myself up here so day one all the on-site asphalt day two the trench work on this side and on this side day three would be the restoration along this probably that piece maybe day four would be the other section on the other side um, I might be adding one more day. I don't know. Okay. And then, so day five would be grind and overlay. Day six would be grind and overlay. Day seven would be to do the 10 bollards. I'd probably say we need to have like a three or four man crew on that bollard placement, have the bobcat out so we can drill, auger out the holes for the seven bollards and then, um, set those sleeves for the removable ballers to go into so um so that's day seven um and then um you're gonna have a, another day probably day eight for the striping crew to do the striping on both sides on eighth and ninth as well as the uh, torch down 16 inch stop bars okay remember to put glass bead on it um it's prevailing wage uh, any other questions, let me know.